and be able to survive long term as the two incomes, even with the women's lowering, over time would position these families to maintain. These women choosing not to marry was not a simple choice, but more so a government tactic forcing them to choose between money and family. Another major change that may or may not have played a role in damaging the Black family was the transparency needed from government assistance recipients as time went on. Welfare and other assistance would be given to those that showed need, giving the government access to bank account information and essentially one's entire life to determine eligibility. For the Black family, this would lead to a surge in improper spending and the trading of benefits for another. Selling of one's food stamps became popular in the 1980s and beyond, whether it be for cash or another benefit. With some families already receiving cash assistance on top of other benefits, the existence of these programs led some to try and find new ways to qualify in order to receive more money. While it is much more difficult today to have one government assistance program provide more money than one can make in a year, it is still very possible to combine programs to be able to provide everything a person would need. Possibly the biggest factor to consider when it comes to government assistance is how it spiked the rate of child support cases in the Black family. Once many of these women had gotten the man out of the house to receive their benefits, they realized quickly that this money, depending on how many children are present, would not be enough to sustain a home. Lawyers in the 1990s would even work pro bono on a case dealing with child support, giving these women more confidence in taking the father of their children to court and receiving more money. Courts notoriously gave men payments to make that were outlandish with penalties that would make it impossible for them to get the money needed. This action, unsurprisingly, will lead to an uptick in crimes committed by many Black men of the time. In a published paper by Harvard alum Fritz Foley, one can see the correlation between crime and welfare payments as the text reads. Analysis of daily reported incidents of major crimes in 12 U.S. cities reveals an increase in crime over the course of monthly welfare payment cycles. The jump reflects increases in crime that are likely to have a direct financial motivation like burglary, larceny, theft, motor vehicle theft, and robbery. Taking into account the countless issues that come from having a record when it comes to making money on top of systemic racism, especially in years past, one can see clearly how this assistance ruined the lives of many Black fathers and children at the very least, as their fathers would spend years in jail, and with the overwhelmingness of being a single parent, the children suffer as well in ways unimaginable. There can be debate about the reasoning behind certain decisions Black families made. However, the need for more assistance is clear. Families selling stamps for cash, fathers being kicked out of the homes, and caseworkers who acted as an extension of the government while breaking the law all played a role on how government assistance would affect Black people. The need for assistance is obvious, especially in the present as a recession looms over society. Nevertheless, it is clear that there are major issues with government assistance that have plagued Black families for decades. If assistance is given to elevate a person in order to help them become more independent, one should ask themselves if this seems like the case when it comes to Black people. With a history of struggle and suffering despite this help, it may not be a foregone conclusion that assistance ruined the Black family. But many can argue it did little to help as Black families today see nearly half of their homes without a father and are still financially trying to catch up in society. Stay up to date with the latest news in comedy, music, and sports by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. Follow Hype Plus across all social media and look out for original content on our new streaming service. For Hype Plus, I'm Michelle Woods. Thank <laughs> you.